all right i just want to start off by saying that this is a more advanced video if you haven't worked on electricity or pool electrical i do suggest you do some research before you stick your hands into a panel just my advice this is for informational purposes only. all right let's troubleshoot together if i'm being quite honest it's a little loud here so let's turn off the filter pump huh the filter pump is still on it looks like but i turned it off huh there we go wow <laughs> okay so let me tell you what was going on here guys uh, that wasn't supposed to happen when i got here when i got the call um, they told me the heater wasn't working so the main thing i came to look at was the heater but when i got here i noticed that there was no power here at all so the breakers they were all shut off i'm like okay well i'm not sure why they shut it off maybe because the heater was doing something weird or maybe they had a leak but after turning the breakers on i noticed that when i hit well what i noticed is that the pump turned on and um and i noticed the filter pump light was off so i was like what the heck is going on here is is the pump wired to hot all the time or you know that's not normal all right just a quick note some pumps are wired hot all the time just meaning that they get power all the time but those are variable speed pumps and we are dealing with a single speed pump here so i took the cover off and i pressed this and turned it off and turned it on and turned it off and i noticed that no matter what i pressed it whether it was on or off the pump would just keep running so uh i tested the relay and and i'm not sure if you guys can see it but that little thing at the bottom that you see between the wires in the back uh right in the middle of the screen that thing yeah if you press that that's a way to manually test the relay and um it was pressed in let's see if i can get this on camera that little thing in the middle was pressed in so when you press it let me get it right you can see it sparking a bit there uh come on there so when you press it it turns the relay on and when you let it go it turns it off so that was actually stuck inside i'm not sure if somebody else had tested it or if it's just going bad but um you can just see it whenever you activate it that goes in well for some reason it was stuck in the whole time and uh so i guess that's why they turned the breakers off to be able to turn the pump off otherwise it would just run 24 hours a day even with this being off you can't go go through troubleshooting by what i did personally to just to make sure it wasn't the board even though it's pretty obvious it was a relay but i shut that off and i took this which is controlling that relay there and i placed this one which is going to the blower over here so when i press filter pump now it turns the blower on because now i'm controlling the relay for the blower I'm not sure if that makes sense, but that's what I did. And um, I confirmed that it was a relay that was bad and not the actual low voltage um, switches up here. So, um, yeah, I guess that just got stuck there. It possibly could happen again. Maybe it won't. Um, so I'm going to recommend that they go ahead and change that relay along with this breaker which is kind of finicky um, earlier i couldn't even get this to turn on so change the breaker and uh change one of the relays there and uh, that should get things back in order now another thing another uh, by the way the heater was fine after i did that so there's no issue with the heater it's all just um the relay i guess somebody turned the breakers off because the pump wouldn't shut off all right, so our relay was actually at fault here. It was stuck closed and was just supplying power nonstop, which is why the breakers were turned off initially to cut that power off. Um, one day I'm gonna make a video explaining electrical a little bit more for those that are just beginning. That way you guys can work safe. And yeah, so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.